What it is, y'all, it is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Now, we've talked a lot about what to do leading up to the anniversary, but a lot of people that are getting into the game for the first time, or maybe coming back to the game after a long time, have been asking me a lot of questions about what am I going to do, what do I need to do, uh, because I don't have any really good units. And the answer is simple. Number one, uh, check out the reroll guide. I do still stand by that. I know there was a lot of controversy over it, but realistically, any recent, and I will say recent, within the past year, basically since the uh, third anniversary last year, any unit that's been released within the last year that is an AOE, and that they have an SA or an SA, a skill that says foes, foes plural. Case in point, if I go to my team here, if I can find my, there we go. If we go to my team here, go to my party. I've only got two two units. Well, no, no, I take the back. I just recently got a couple more units, and this is kind of gonna be what I talk about here. So Finn ha is has a foes plural SA, but his main skill is a single target. Now this Finn isn't really all that good. I literally just settled with the first four star I got, and he's been holding his own pretty effectively. Now, Chloe here's a very old AoE, but even she, if I go up here to the top, she has a foe's plural skill. And both of these units I've acquired without spending any Iris whatsoever, okay? This is a brand new, fresh reroll that I just created specifically for the purposes of this video. So I've got a, a one star running on this team, the one star bell you get at the beginning. I've got two four stars and a three star. Of course, the main thing I'm going to tell you here, if you go into just whatever fight you're going to go into next, and you hit the support button down here, it's going to bring up a list of friends. Now, I actually haven't friended anybody in this because, well, I plan to throw this count away here in just a few minutes anyway. I uh, literally just made this for the purposes of this video, so it's not an account that I really cherish that's going to do any good. But when you click on the support window, it's going to bring up a list of all the people you've friended in the game. Now, here it's just going to give me some randos and... Eh, not really going to do any good for me. Uh, I believe these are all just literally... I don't think these are even friends, you friend units. I think these are just literally maybe other random people on my level or even bots, possibly. But in my situation, what I would do if I was seriously re-rolling right now is I would go friend a bunch of people that have really, really, really good teams. Remember, whoever is on the first slot of your first team, that's going to be your friend unit. So... Really, if I wanted to make Finn my friend unit, let's just go do that real quick. Nope, not status board. Go to party. Go to party. There you go. Good job. And I will literally just put uh, Finn where Bell is. Now, if anybody were to search me, they would find that Finn is my friend unit, and they'd probably appreciate that a lot more than the one-star Bell. Finn's going to do significantly better in these situations. In fact, Chloe would probably be a better fit there, even though in the long run, Finn is stronger. She's an AoE, so, you know, that actually might be a little change I would make there. But neither here nor there. All of these units I've acquired through tickets. Now... As you basically uh, start playing the game, they're going to give you a lot of Iris rewards in the beginning. Save every last bit of Iris. Do not go into the gotchas. Do not spend anything here. But do farm up your two and three star tickets. See, I've even got some tickets right here. I wonder if I can pull a uh, pull a four star on this one. We'll see. Let's see what happens here real quick. All right, I'm going to skip that. Got a bunch of new units, but I don't think any of them... No, there were no four stars in that. Uh, let's see, I got five of these. Let's see what happens here. Probably not, but... <sighs> nope. Nothing doing there either. So, really just start amassing these. Because remember, right now we're in the middle of the Gold Rush campaign. So, as you do your dailies and all that stuff, you're going to amass tickets. But I'm going to show you one other way, and this is probably the most important thing... Uh, that you can do early game to try to uh, gain some quick and early skills. And that is, once you beat episode 2, all you got to beat is episode 210 on normal mode, you will unlock the Familia window. Now, I'm not part of a Familia. I can establish a Familia, but if I was going to recommend something, what I would do is I'd go up here and I'd search for Familia. Now, I'm just going to search for... Because I have control over what, what happens here. <laughs> Surprise how that works. 
All right, it's going to take a minute. Actually, let's go ahead and snag the old phone so I can take advantage of this. And I'll show you kind of what happens when you join a Familia, because if you join an established Familia, which I know for new players probably isn't going to be super easy. I mean, let's face it, you know, most... There we are. Oops, that would be the, uh, the phone. So, my Familia Chestia is level 505. Ignore the, uh, ignore the... Actually, I I'm going to say, I'm fairly, um, flattered that we've got fake Familias in there. I kind of appreciate that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to submit my request to join my Familia. Okay? So, let me go ahead and get into the game here real quick and accept this request and see really kind of what you get when you first join an established familia. Now to be fair, our level, our familia is level 500. Our familia has been around for a really long time. You're probably not going to get the same rewards or even the same treatment that, you know, I'm going to get joining my own familia, but, and you could always establish a familia and start one yourself and start grinding out that way. But I would probably, if you're early in the game right now and you're looking to get really into this the way you should Esta don't establish one join an established one join one that's been around for a while that's like you know level two or three hundred has been around for a good minute so all right now i'm not going to show you the whole process here that i'm doing on my side but i'm going to go ahead and manage my requests there we go and just got to find it here. We got a bunch of requests right now. There we are. Boom. I have now been added to the Familia. So now when I go in here, you have joined the Familia. So awesome. Great. We should, I have said should, get a ton of rewards up here. So we're going to let this load for a minute. There we go. So I got a four-star ticket just for joining a Familia. But if I go up here to missions, go over here, we're going to get so many tickets. Look at all these tickets. So th three three-star tickets, three more three-star tickets, three more three-star tickets, yet more. That's an 11, uh, 11 draw. I mean, you got to do these one at a time, but honestly, it'll pay out if you just... Stick with it. Now, notice level 300, we've got a four star 11 draw ticket. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be able to join a, uh, a familia of that level, but I'm just saying if you find one that's willing to accept you, this pays out pretty reasonably. So, we burned all of our tickets. So, we're going to go see here in just a moment how just the sheer number of tickets that we've gotten from this. There's another 11 draw. Level 150, we got five more three stars. There's another 11 draw. Look at this. Like, I don't have to spend any Irish now. Look at how many tickets we're getting. Now, we could get completely shafted. We could get some really old units. But I'm going to be honest with you. Most of the units you're going to get here will at least get you to level 40. Your goal is to get to level 40 to get the free Harahime. If you don't know what I'm talking about. All right, we got all the rewards here. We go into quest, and as you rank this up, once you beat episode 40, you get a free Harahime. Now, to do that, obviously, I'm going to need to upgrade my units. The team that I've got now is not going to cut it up to level 40. But to remember, you don't have to do it on the hardest setting. You only have to do it on the easiest setting to get that reward. And that's your biggest one. If you don't know what the Harahime unit does, that is the original Foxy Princess Harahime. That not only does a 40% debuff, but also does a big heal as well as counter healing. Every time she's hit and she counters, she heals. She does some big buffs to your damage and will also replicate the... Um, amount of buffs and debuffs that you produce. Great unit, that's gonna be your number one goal and you're gonna to wanna to take advantage of that uh, before you really get too serious in the game, all right? So, now let's go down here and see how many tickets we've got. So, I'm gonna start off, we have 50 
four three-star tickets. Remember, we burned all of our three-star tickets. We've also got one four-star ticket and seven 11 draws. So let's just go ahead and burn these real quick and see what we get. Now, I'm not going to, I'm just going to skip uh, because this will take, way, you know what, we'll just go through them. We'll go through them real quickly and see if we get anything cool. So two star, two star. Remember, the three star 11 draws could have two stars in them. Your general three star tickets might pay out a little better. It is what it is. Nothing really inventive yet. Yeah, it doesn't look like this. This one's going to be a dud. This one's a dud. All right, so we're still collecting new units. Let's try that again. I remember I got seven of these beasts. I got seven of them. So, one more time. Three star, two star, three star. I'm oh, sorry, that was two star, two star, two star. A lot of two stars in this. It's not paying out. My luck is not good today. What is going on with this? Three star. Oof. This account is cursed. <laughs> I'm sure someone would want me to give this away to him, but I trust him. Trust me, you do not want this account, apparently. This account is super cursed. It's three star. Man, not a good look game. Not a good look. So here we go. Three star, three star. Man, we only got we got four more. No rainbow door. No rainbow door. What is going on? Two star. Like I said, I don't want to skip this because we get a four star. I want to see what it is. Two stars, two stars, two stars. Gee. Oh my goodness. Your luck should hopefully be better than this. Your, your luck will not be nearly as atrocious as mine. This is just bad. Like, this is the point at which I probably would go reroll because I'm like, nah, this, this account is completely cursed. If I don't get one four star in all these tickets... That is legit confirmed a cursed account. <laughs> uh, rip and a half. Man. Two more. Let's see what happens. <laughs> this is just bad. Yeah, your odds should definitely be better than this. Your odds should be much better than this. Like, I get it. It's, a, it's like a 2% chance or whatever. That's technically it's a three percent chance because it's two percent for adventure, one percent for an assist. So I would expect something in here. If there's no four star in this, I'm going to be shocked. Going to be legitimately just floored if there's no four star in these tickets. Look at this. What even is this luck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, maybe th maybe this this is just. Getting all, getting rid of all my bad juju before the anniversary. I'll, I'll take that. Whatever. Now, to be fair, when you're new in the game, those three stars could come in handy. Uh, let's go ahead and before we burn the four star ticket, let's burn. We've got 54 of these. Let's do these real quick. See what we get. Please give us a rain. Okay, okay. There we go. Finally, a four star. All right. Oh. And I'll take that. A newer eyes. I'll take that. 100. percent Tione, let's see. Can we get another one? Or is our luck just going to be that atrocious? I shouldn't skip when it does two star because we got a four star out of that. So this eyes, let's see. She is fairly new. Yeah. Earth resist down 50%. Yeah, she's a very new one. And she's got an AoE attack. She's going to be great for these teams. So notice like as much as I was talking about curse curse the uh, curse game and all that and have to uh reroll. That kind of shows you right there like you can get new units from this though I would hope your luck would be better than mine. Okay, you know I say that. I say that. It's starting to shape up now. It's starting to shape up now. Let's see. 3 star Hestia, 3 star Tione. We got a 4 star Alright, it's it's Alicia. She's good. She's good. 
She's starting to age a little bit, but she'll be all right, you know, once again. So we're starting to amass a team of pretty good units. Now, you're not going to max any of these units out. You're not going to be, you know, getting crazy, crazy, crazy numbers in, in war game. But you're at least going to be able to do something in the main storylines, grind out that iris and all that stuff. And that's all just in preparation for what we're going to be getting here soon. So let's see. Um, I'm looking for a two-star animation. Nope, nothing doing. So three-star animation isn't going to do it most likely. I mean, it could, but it's most likely not. So we're looking for four-star animations. Nope. Two-star animations could fake out to four stars, so that's why I'm kind of sticking on those. Three stars could, but they're less likely. Ah, come on. All right. We got two more multis. Let's see what we get here. Let's see what we get. So this far we got two four stars. Now I would expect more than that personally, but that's, you know, just this is just luck of the draw, honestly. And this is a lot of tickets. Like we're burning a ton of tickets here, guys. And to be fair, that's we're level 500. You're not going to get as many tickets as we've gotten, but you can kind of see like you join a familia, you can get some tickets pretty quick. All right. Last multi and then we'll do we'll burn our four star ticket. So, gold door. Let's just skip this beast and eh for the sake of silliness. So no four stars in that the rest of that lot. So we only got two four stars. So like realistically, I, I hate to say it, I would probably burn this account and re retry. But we've got a regular four star ticket here and a four star eleven draw. So who knows? Who knows? New phone. Who this? Okay, okay. Uh, I think she's a bit older. I think she's... Let's see. Oh, no, no. She's the assist. Ah, okay. This would actually be a great assist. Strength and critical rate plus 15%. Thunder attack damage plus 10%. So I will start one of those. Start to amass some thunder units. I forgot. I think she's the, she's the 20% assist for thunder. So she's really good. And more recent. So that's actually a really good draw. And looks like we've got one more. Let's do this. Let's see what we get on this one. So hopefully right now, like even though my, my luck has been really bad on these draws, hopefully by now you can kind of see where you could amass four stars just by joining a familia. And then obviously from there you get, you know, rewards for your familia stuff. You're going to get rewards for running at least a little bit what you can do in Record Buster and War Game. You're going to get something for at least doing those events. Uh, and eventually you're going to amass a team once you get in the anniversary and you save some Irish. You're going to be able to amass a really decent team at the end of the anniversary just by saving now. It's like a short-term loss, long-term gain thing. Uh, it's a newer Lunar, but I don't remember what she does. Let's see. She is... Uh, so physical attack damage plus 50% per each target's physical resistance. That's an AOE attack. So she's going to be really, really good. And she's a healer. So this would be a good team to start out with. So I could then go ahead and grind and move up from there. But hopefully you understand now that just by joining a Familia, you're, especially when this established has been around for a while, like find a nice level 200 that's willing to take in new players, get active, help out your fam, get your fam active and kind of go from there guys but that's pretty much it uh if you've watched the other videos i've done on free to play iris take advantage of that take advantage of these tickets like i said this hopefully helps you guys out that are just starting the game understand why i say save every single free to play iris that you can don't spend unless i specifically i'll drop videos if there's a if we if we get a rerun banner that i'm like you got to get this unit that means that unit is going to pay you back just for acquiring it but for now hold what you can i'll see you guys in the anniversary you'll thank me on the backside of it